And hey everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Wondershare Doctophone, your complete mobile solution. I'm Francisco here with another episode from this series, and today we are going to discuss why your account keeps getting disabled in the App Store and iTunes, and how to go about fixing that issue. So go ahead and stay tuned, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Watch this video until the very end in order to get the answers that you so much seek. So some of you might have already seen the message that your account has been disabled in the App Store and on iTunes when you try to log in. So this is often an indication that for some reason your Apple ID is not working as it should. This situation can be very annoying because if you see the error message that your account has been disabled in the Apple App Store and iTunes, then it often means a variety of different things. So here's going to be a quick list of what that might look like. So for one, it can mean that you can't access your Apple Books, Apple Store purchases, and even iTunes purchases. It can also mean that you may not be able to access Apple services in general, and any Apple Store orders and repairs may need to be rescheduled or anything of the sort. It could also be that you may not be able to access your iCloud account at all or even receive iMessages, FaceTime, and iCloud Mail, which is a pretty big deal. So looking at the consequences, this can be a difficult situation to navigate through that does need immediate attention. So why did you get this message of your account has been disabled in the Apple App Store and iTunes? Well, it could actually be for a variety of reasons that I'm going to go over right now. It could have just been multiple attempts to log in. So if you have entered your Apple ID password incorrectly too many times in a sequence, your App Store account will be disabled entirely, which can also lead to just a straight up disabled account. And if you're not using your Apple ID for a very long time, then there is going to be a chance that your Apple ID will just end up getting disabled as a result. There could also just be billing issues, and this is actually one that I have encountered in the past, and it can really be one of the easy solutions. So sometimes billing issues such as an unpaid App Store or iTunes order can create problems. Apple protection, for instance. If Apple thinks that your ID was hacked by somebody, then they might go ahead and disable your account for your own protection. And lastly, credit disputes. So if there are any kind of charging disputes on your credit card or anything like that, that could also go back to the whole payment issues that we discussed earlier. So these are going to be some of the primary reasons that your account may be disabled. And now when we're able to identify the problem, let's go ahead and talk about the solutions to fix issue of, of your account having been disabled in the App Store and iTunes era. There are many ways of fixing this issue and, they, and get access to your device again. And now the easiest thing that you can do is just wait for a certain amount of time and well, try again. However, we're going to move on to the following method. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. So method number one, you can just wait 24 hours and try again, because this method will work if you haven't entered the wrong password several times. And when you enter incorrect passwords too many times, your Apple ID is going to get locked automatically for security reasons. And that's why you're not really going to be able to log into any of your Apple services as a result, such as iTunes and the Apple Store. So next, what you can try is to unlock your Apple ID. For method number two, if you can't remember your Apple ID and password, you can reset them by following these simple steps coming right up. Now, so the first thing that you want to do is just go ahead and visit iForgot.Apple.com and you're going to be seeing a link down below as well. Now, go ahead and enter your Apple ID and click on continue and then enter your phone number that you use in order to create your account and then follow the on-screen instructions. And if you are using an iPhone or iPad to change the password, and then you're going to have to enter the device's passcode as per usual. Set the new password for your Apple account and that's pretty much all for from there, your account should be accessible with the new password that you have access to at this time. And if it doesn't work, you can just try to log out and then log back in to your Apple ID. And for method number three, sometimes the problem can arise from a software glitch that results in disabling your Apple account. So to fix this, all you have to do is just go onto your settings and then tap on your name. And I'll click on iTunes and App Store, and then just go ahead and sign out from there. And then and then sign back in as soon as you get a chance. And then when you've gone ahead and signed back into your Apple ID, try again in order to verify if you can download app from here on out. And if the error continues to arise due to a software glitch, then it will be solved from this usually. However, sometimes the error does occur due to the restrictions imposed on app purchases. So do check and see if the restrictions on your iPhone are enabled or not. And to check those restrictions, restrictions, I just go into your settings and move to the general settings on your phone. And the next up, just go ahead and click on 
restrictions and then here and you need to enter your restrictions passcode in order to verify the status of your restrictions if everything looks fine still you're not really able to access your itunes or app store account then at this point it is going to be a pretty good time to contact itunes support on the other hand and for method number three go to support.apple.com slash choose dash country dash region slash itunes and then go ahead and select the region to go to the specific itunes support page now don't worry i know that that was a pretty long link but that link is going to be available in the description too so scroll down and then click on contact apple support and now click on itunes store purchasing music movies apps and books and then select account management and then select account disabled in the app store and then select account disabled in the app store and itunes store alert and then schedule a call that with Apple support representative and then they should be able to get back to you in order to help you fix that issue. So their team is most certainly going to help you in order to retrieve your disabled account. Now some of you might have one question in your mind at this point. The error message that your account has been disabled in the Apple Store and iTunes is different from Apple ID disabled or the same. And where and why you see them, well let's go ahead and talk about those differences here and now. The error message your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes differs from Apple ID Apple ID disabled because you will primarily see that your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes when you try to access content in the App Store. On the other hand, you may see Apple ID disabled when you enter the Apple ID and password to bypass the iCloud activation lock. And after you see these errors, you will not be able to access some of the features and apps that require your Apple ID for access. And if you meet the Apple ID disabled error, here is going to be the solution in order to resolve that. So one of the simple and easy ways uh, to fix an Apple ID disabled situation is going to be by removing said Apple ID. And so in order to fix the Apple ID disabled by removing Apple ID, this is exactly what we're going to do. So sometimes the only way to fix the Apple ID disabled message is to just go ahead and remove the Apple ID from your device, especially when you purchase a secondhand device and you can't access the Apple ID and password in order to be able to put in your own. So one of the best ways to remove the Apple ID from an iOS device is going to be to use Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for iOS. Links to this are, of course, going to be down below in the description. And this third-party unlocking software is specifically designed to easily and effectively have removed the Apple ID password from any device. It is going to be super fast, reliable, and offers great support for all iOS device models, including iPads. To use Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for iOS, go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. So first things first, as always, what you're going to want to do is to go ahead and download a Dr. Phone Toolkit from the program to main website and then install the toolkit onto your computer and then open it and once it's done installing and then go ahead and select screen unlock from the very main menu that you see upon opening the software. On the next screen, uh, you should be seeing three options and then just choose unlock Apple ID since you want to remove the Apple ID from your device. And now you have to connect your iOS device to the computer using its lightning cable or USB-C cable depending on what iOS device you're using. And then enter the device's passcode and when prompted go ahead and tap on trust in order to allow this computer to detect the device that the program should detect at the device and display information about it. And do remember that you will need to reset all settings on your device before the program can remove the Apple ID. So don't worry if you don't know how to do that, just go ahead and follow the instructions that are going to be on the screen in order to reset all of the settings. Go to just reboot and the settings should be reset from here. And Dr. Phone is going to immediately start removing the Apple ID from your device. And then you should see a progress bar indicating how long the process will take. Ordinarily, the removal should just really take a few seconds. And when the process is finally complete, you're going to see a notification on the screen letting you know that the Apple ID has been removed successfully. And now you should then be able to sign right into another Apple ID if you want to, or just go ahead and create a new Apple ID and password in order to use that one on your on your device. And well, that does look pretty simple when you're using Dr. Phone. So I believe that now you have a lot of clarity here when it comes to different situations that can arise due to disabling of an Apple ID. And if you still have anything in your mind that isn't answered in this video, please make sure to drop a question in the comment section. We will be more than happy to address that since we do love responding to you guys. And so keep watching our videos and make sure to subscribe to our channel, of course. And do not forget to click on that notification bell for more videos coming up pretty soon. So with that said, this is been Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. Until next time, have a good one.